you might imagine, there's still a lot to unpack about today's landmark ruling. Rachel Robichet joins us now. She's the interim dean and professor at Temple University's Beasley School of Law. Thank you so much for joining us on this historic evening. So, so what would you say are some of the legal ramifications coming out of today's decision? Well, I think that uh, now states uh, are empowered to regulate abortion. They, uh, 26 states have uh, said that their intention is to ban uh, almost all abortion if Roe v. Wade is overturned. And uh, some states are acting immediately. So I think mm. there will be, uh, we'll see legal changes in the next days, weeks, and certainly months. I'd like to get your opinion on this. What would it take, do you think, for the court to hear a case that could overturn today's decision? So I'm sorry, I, I missed that last question. What would it take, do you think, for the court to hear a case that could overturn today's decision? I think that, you know, that, that, that if, if the question is, is there a case that the court could hear in the future that mm -hmm. would overturn today's decision, mm -hmm. um, I think certainly that is a possibility. Um, I, I think the court has announced a standard for how it thinks about precedent thinking about the five factors that courts should consider when overturning precedent. And one could envision a future in which those factors are again salient. Um, but, it, you know, that seems like a, a longer term um, a possibility, mm. uh, given that the court uh, has ruled as it has today. Professor Robichet, in his uh, concurring opinion, Justice Clarence Thomas said the court should reconsider several other recent rulings. Could overturning Roe put precedents like same-sex marriage and the right to contraception, do you think, in danger? So the, Justice Alito's opinion says in a few places that the, they are just, the majority is just dealing with uh, abortion rights. It, it is not talking about other rights protected under the U.S. Constitution's 14th Amendment. Uh, but Justice uh, Thomas makes the argument that uh, the court should consider uh, undoing uh, case, uh, uh, rethinking cases that are premised mm -hmm. on the due process clause, at least the substantive version of the due process clause under the 14th. Uh, and so that, that would have implications for cases concerning marriage, cases concerning contraceptives, mm -hmm. uh, cases that touch on intimacy, relationships, family, uh, family life. Um, Justice Thomas suggests that there are other constitutional premises for those rights, uh, though those those premises have been untested. So I, I think that it's an open question about mm -hmm. you know what the court decides in regard to some of those other areas moving forward. Mm -hmm. I understand. Uh, almost out of time, but just yesterday you wrote in the New York Times, I believe, about the role abortion pills could play in the aftermath of this ruling. What protections are still available for women in states where abortion will now be illegal? So I think that, you know, the landscape of abortion services has changed as well. We're not only confronting a different set of laws, but the way in which people terminate a pregnancy, that shifted too. And one of the ways that shifted has been through uh, abortion pills, uh, the two drug regimen that uh, is uh, available to people before 10 weeks of pregnancy. And so, you know, states are actively now protecting and promoting access to medication abortion at the same time that states are banning all abortion, medication abortion included. But regulating pills uh, has been the subject of uh, FDA authority, and it presents, I think, some, some questions uh, around potential conflicts between state regulation and federal regulation. Hmm. Professor Rabichet, thank you so much for your insight and your expertise. We appreciate you. And we have much more coverage of today's ruling, overturning Roe v. Wade, on our website, cbsphilly.com. While you're there, you can see reaction from politicians all across the region.